picture this. You've started a game of Splatoon ranked, and the enemy has... Uh... Um, a lot of tenor missiles, and your team doesn't. But the match already started, so you can't go back, right? But what if this changed? If you had the power to change your fate, would you? Imagine an optional form of ranked that allows you to change what weapon you're using in the middle of a match. This could mean you wouldn't be trapped with your choice after the game begins. Let's say you're able to change your weapon, but only in two circumstances. You have to be respawning, or you have to actively be in your spawn. Let's put this in the context of Splatoon 2, while imagining it could be in Splatoon 3 as a brand new change for the game. Opting to change weapons could take you into the regular equip section UI, but only have weapons available. This would mean you could change your weapon, but not your gear. You could make the perfect weapon composition to counter whatever the enemy team is using. Or just pile up on missile weapons to make things more annoying, I guess. Or whatever is popular in Splatoon 3. Probably Triple Ink Strike. She didn't hear it from me first. <laughs> but what stops the enemy team from trying to counter what you're doing? Right? Nothing. What happens if players become so entranced in changing weapons that they don't play the game? This is why I don't want to even think about including changing gear. There would be so much time loss. Maybe at the top level this would be a non-issue, but it would be painful if someone newer to the game had this much freedom thrown at them every single match. Unless they have, like, maybe an amiibo at the ready. If you can't change your gear, there are some weapon kits you might not want to switch to. For example, if you started the match running a run speed special charge ends at 89, you might not want to swap to roller, where all that run speed is gonna do nothing for you. Would certain players emerge that purposely wear gear sets that can work for multiple different weapons? It'd be interesting to see how many people's mindsets would adapt to the idea of being able to swap weapons. Let's take this a step further and establish limitations to what weapon swapping is allowed instead of letting players choose anything they want. I threw the idea out to my YouTube community under the idea of picking just two and only two weapons from the weapon pool. They liked it and had a ton of different ideas and reasons. Some players opted for their beloved favorites, while others kept to a brand or a theme. Let's say a player could only swap within the weapon itself. Like, if you started out with playing a Luna Blaster, you could swap to the Luna Blaster Neo or the Kensa Luna Blaster, and that would be it. This would give some players access to one bonus kit and others to two. It wouldn't hurt to be able to use Baller for one part of the match, and then be able to bomb rush later when your team has a significant lead in a Splat Zones match that you're trying to keep. I wonder if some weapons would become more popular if you could access more than one of the subs and specials offered for the weapon. Imagine playing mostly gold dynamo roller for the Splat Bomb, but then swapping to the Kensa dynamo roller when your special is ready to get access to a game-changing Booyah Bomb. Would the time needed to go back to base be worth changing the specials? And this is assuming you don't lose special points when you change weapons. <laughs> that'd be... that'd be mean. Let's expand our silly little idea a little more. What if instead of only having access within your weapons kits, you could use anything in a weapons class? For example, an NZAP player could use a Jet Squelcher or a Splattershot Pro. A Clash Blaster user could use a Luna Blaster, a Range Blaster, etc. The ability to predict what others planned to use during a match would go down significantly because of this, but at least you'd know, to an extent, what the other team could use. Maybe you would have to get used to mentally preparing yourself at the start of a match. Look at the enemy team and think to yourself, the, uh, okay, 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 okay. Roller, charger, shooter, blaster. At least you know there wouldn't be any Brella players showing up at random, right? Would some players meme with this? Absolutely. <laughs> Imagine you start a match and the entire team is jet squelters. About halfway through the match, they've established a strong lead and bang, all Splattershot Juniors. The armor never stops. <laughs> there is no salvation here. It's evil. It's funny. And it's probably not ever happening in Splatoon 3, but man, would it make for some wild experiences when playing with friends. I doubt players in ranked mode would be able to coordinate something so evil. 
But if it even happened once, you could bet somebody would clip it for their social media. If a particular weapon class is very versatile in Splatoon 3, similar to how shooters are quite strong in Splatoon 2, ranked players might purposefully try to stick to that class just to take advantage of these swapping opportunities. It would be interesting to see a meta that revolved not only around what weapon you start with, but if it's worthwhile to change your weapon partway through. Again, matches in Splatoon last in most five minutes, and taking the time to swap weapons outside of respawning could really become a time sink. While you're thinking about what weapon to use, you're probably not checking the map, watching who's getting splatted, thinking about your next move when you're respawning, all important things that keep your awareness up while in the middle of a match. Could this be resolved? What if instead we limit the number of times you could swap weapons? If you could only swap your weapon one time, when would you want to do so? Would you want to wait until you've seen most of your opponents change their weapons? Would you want to do so only under special circumstances? Like when you really need a different special? Maybe the pressure of having just that one swap would make some people never change their weapon at all! Just in case they might need their original choice back later. Oh, the pressure it would put people under. Evil. Still, it's fun to imagine what the development team could do to make Splatoon 3 unique. I'm the kind of person that'll buy the game day one, even if it's more or less the same. But I know other people do desire more mechanical or gameplay related changes. Not to imply that I don't, but I'll get the game anyway. <laughs> I don't think I'd take advantage of this kind of swapping too much, as I like to have a plan with a weapon and stick with it, but it could be nice if I start a match and realize a bomb rush weapon might help to fix a painting issue, or a bonus stingray or crab or something might be more helpful to turn the tables in a tower control match. Thanks for listening to me ramble about this idea. If you like hearing me yap, feel free to subscribe to hear me talk more about Splatoon in the future. Tell me if you'd want something like this in the comments below! I'm curious if it would be, in the long run, helpful or hurtful to the game. Like how many players, including myself, would love to see customizable sub and special weapon kits in private battles. Victoria Vian out, have a good one!